All this week, we are committed to helping you make ends meet because we know it isn't easy these days, especially at the gas pump. On average, we are paying $3.98 for a gallon of regular. Yeah, and that's kind of on the low side lately, right? So if that's a little too steep, and we understand that it is for a lot of us right now, what about public transit? That's exactly what our consumer investigator Hank Winchester decided to do. Give it a shot. He joins us live from a bus right now somewhere along Woodward to take us through the commute. Hey, Hank. Hey, Jason Karen. Yes, we are rolling down Woodward Avenue live right now. We just crossed over the Davison destination downtown Detroit. Listen, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking this is the Motor City. We drive cars, but the reality is for a lot of people, many have had to rely on transportation like this for years. And now with gas prices out of control, it made all of us stop and think, what is it really like on the bus? We'll take a look at our journey. Today, I'm a lot more conscious of time. My commute from the suburbs to the city, very different on this day. I'm anxious because I'm thinking I'm going to miss my ride. Like you, I am fed up with the high prices at the pump. That's my normal gas station that I would stop at to fill up my car, which would now cost me $85. So today, it's a different mode of transportation for me the bus. People can save money definitely riding the bus um, if they choose, if they are able to. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of things out on the uh, that we're doing to improve services for people. Overall ridership is down because of the pandemic. But the one thing that stayed the same, the price, just two dollars gets you to most locations. And if you're a senior, just 50 cents. I'm very happy that I'm able to do this now and uh, use the bus because it's saving me money. Horace Horn hopped on in Ferndale. Destination, the Meyer at 8 and Woodward. It's, it's, I tell you, it's cheap and it's clean and they're efficient. And so I've been very pleased with what I've seen. He's relied on Uber for years, but it just got too expensive. I normally do Uber, but sometimes I'll do the bus because it's so cheap. And wait till you hear Sam Curitan's story. Got my bus stop at 6, uh, 6 15 this morning. 6 15 in the morning in Flint. Right. And now we're here in Royal Oak. Right. That's right. He got on the bus in Flint this morning. Destination the VA hospital in Detroit. And this round trip ride for him will cost $1. Is your thought not to take the car because of how expensive I, things are right now? Right. Yeah, I, yeah right. I probably, how, much, it, how much would it cost you, do you think, from Flint to Detroit and back? On uh, a car? Yeah. Oh, but you be out about, about $30 for gas. I'll admit, when I first hopped on, I was a little anxious. When I get to the station on time, I got on the bus at 8.15. I need to be downtown before 9. I'm on a fast express bus. We do make several stops down Woodward, but it's quick. The bus also has Wi-Fi. I lose myself online and sending emails. What I realize is that you're a lot less stressed just letting somebody else do the driving. You're not thinking about the person cutting you off or making that light. You can also text, send emails. You can get a lot done. Stress-free, yeah. zero stress. Yeah. You don't have just, to worry about driving. Just have time to do what you have to do. Technology has changed everything. You can track your bus on your phone, find out exactly when it's going to be arriving. It can make those colder days in the winter a little bit easier to manage. Thank you very much, you too. I arrived downtown at about 8.50. Plenty of time to walk just a few blocks to Local 4. On time arrival. Can't beat that. The negatives, I do miss having access to my car while I'm at work. If I want to just run a quick errand, I'd rather do it in my car than hop on the bus. The other issue, at two different bus stops that I used, I also noticed that someone had used this area as their own personal bathroom. Yes, I know this is rare, but this is not something you want to see first thing in the morning, or for that matter, any time of day. Overall, as a car-dependent Detroiter, I was blown away. The bus was clean. I felt safe. And most important, it was so affordable. That was easy, stress-free. Two dollars, two bucks. Can't beat it. 
best deal in town. We're still cruising down Woodward right now. We were at the Davison uh, at the intro of this story. We're approaching 94 right now. And I'll tell you, Karen, Jason, technology has really changed the game here. Not only can you track the bus's arrival and departure, but you can pay online using the app. It's really made things much easier. Now, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., we're going to continue our coverage. In fact, we're going to introduce you to an Uber and Lyft alternative that is about 80% cheaper and can help get you to many destinations all over Metro Detroit. We'll see you live tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. For now, Karen, Jason, back to you. Yeah, I, Hank, you know what? I think a lot of people are very appreciative that you found a way to get to work on time, number one. But seriously, though, you mentioned <laughs> safety, and I think that can't be stressed enough because some people have that, uh, that thought that sometimes the bus isn't safe when it really is. They do, Jason, complete misconception. And, and, and I'll tell you, these drivers are trained, they're professionals. And when you get to these different stops along the way, if you do have an emergency situation, understand there's a system in place where you can contact police right away. Clean, safe, affordable. You can't beat it.